Good morning, dear students. This is Aisha, your science teacher. Hope you all are at home, safe, and strengthening the nation in fighting towards the coronavirus. Today we'll start the next part of your chapter one. Before starting, let us discuss a bit of what we had studied. in the previous video children we had discussed the importance of food the types of nutrients and importance of balanced diet we had a talk on the components of food which contains proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals we had also a talk on how protein is called a body building food carbohydrates are called energy giving food also fats are also in the same category of energy giving food vitamins and minerals are known as protective foods because they help us to fight various diseases and keep us fit and healthy we also discuss the importance of roughage and water in our diet how roughage is important for excretion of waste materials from our body as well as how water is essential for the proper functioning of all our body parts children we also discussed about the balanced diet so what is a balanced diet a balanced diet is a meal that contains all the nutrients example carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals water and fiber in the right proportion and we concluded in the last class that all the components of the nutrition or the food are essential for a healthy living it is not that if you eat only carbohydrate it is sufficient nor only protein is sufficient nor the minerals and vitamins we have to have all the components of the food in appropriate proportion now today we will study about avoiding food wastage children as in our last class we had studied how food is necessary for our living on this earth we all need food for nutrition and to carry out our daily activities we need food to be healthy Have you ever imagined from where is this food coming? Who is go- growing this food for us? Does the growing of food require any labor? Yes, the growing of food li- requires a lot of labor. Our farmers have to work very hard to grow this food in the field. There are various people in the world who do not get adequate food and nourishment and they face a lot of diseases and even death due to unavailability of the required food so since we are getting the food we should avoid food wastage we shall try to utilize the food whatever we had we have got to its full now we will discuss some of the methods how we can avoid the wastage of food the first method is avoid leftovers what's the meaning avoid leftovers it means that we have to take only that much food in our plate that much we could consume or we could eat some of us have the habit of taking a lot of food on our plate due to greed we are not able to eat all the food and what happens all the food is left over and goes into dustbin and is wasted 
children take only that much amount of food that you can eat now avoid overfilling it is somehow the same thing what is mentioned in the first part the first part says that we should not leave anything on our plate and how can this task be performed this can be performed if we take only the required food we can avoid overfilling we should not take the food that we don't require in our plates many of us have the habit of filling our plates with a variety of food items which we cannot consume imagine a marriage party a birthday party or any other party where we have the tendency to just fill our plates with whatever food we can see this is a very bad practice and this is greed we should take only as much as we can we could eat once you have completed if you need more you can again have the required amount of food now preserve food we also have to preserve the food by refrigerating it freezing drying etc pickling or making pickles is also a method of preserving food these methods can help in preserving food for longer duration and avoid wastage of food due to spoilage now avoid forceful eating what is this unnecessary eating all the time and eating more than your appetite suppose you you are hungry and you your hunger will be satisfied in two rotis no need of eating three rotis or four rotis just to enjoy the meal or because the vegetable or the curry made is very tasty so you go on eating three rotis or four rotis whereas your appetite is only of two rotis that has to be avoided overeating in a way also adds to food wastage children not only this in some holy books in bible it is written that overeating is a sin we should eat as much as we require next point is listing the requirement of food item before going into this point i will like to explain you a scenario suppose you have gone to a supermarket a lot of food display is available there and we go on picking the things without thinking whether we actually need that thing or not we sometimes pick those food items from the market that are just not required by us only the packaging attracts us these things not only waste our money but also are of no use for us so one should make a list of food items required before going to the grocery store mindless picking of the things will not only make a hole in the pocket but also add to food stock some simply going to the market and bringing the food that you are not going to eat any time is foolish foolishness remember all food items have a expiry date what it means that suppose you have bought a food item that you are not eating for 2 months or 3 months now all the food item have a expiry date after that date the food is no more edible so just we waste our money by picking such food item now the last point is we should donate some food suppose you have grains in surplus amount you should look inside uh, you should look in your neighborhood for the needy people who can who do not have food with them so it is your divine duty 
to provide them with the food another thing is there suppose you are hosting a party at your home whatever left over food should be given to the needy on time this can also avoid the wastage of food as well as satisfy the hunger of the needy people so food left after parties get together etc can be donated to the people who are in need of the food now children importance of plants we know that the major part of our food comes from the plants now we all depend on the on the plants for our survival on this planet if there are no plants that means we are also not we will also not be able to survive so it is very important to maintain a balance in nature cutting down of trees for satisfying human needs will cause a balance in nature and harm the existence of many living beings now how can we care for the plants and the environment so plants not only beautify the environment but also make it healthy how how the plants make the environment healthy by providing us with oxygen that is the air we breathe in and is very much necessary to be al- alive we need to care for them as they help us in the following ways plants reduce air pollution by absorbing carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen plants help in removing bacteria and chemicals from water in the ground now plants are home and food source for a variety of animals and birds so children as you know that not only human being but also plants and the birds are also dependent on the plants animals and birds are also dependent on the plants for their survival so no plants means no animals and birds and you know that plants as well as animals both are, are our sources of food now next point is they also absorb absorb sound and help in reducing noise pollution so the plants are not only a source of food for us but also they help in noise pollution plants provide us with a variety of food so most of our food comes from the plants and the animals and the birds that eat are also dependent on the plant for their survival thus plants are very important for us as they care for us and help us in many ways we to have a responsibility to take care of them we must ensure that our plants are watered regularly and they get adequate sunlight time to time fertilizers will also help in the growth as the soil will get proper nourishment so the chapter comes to an end here hopefully students you sh- you would have understood the importance of preserving the plants and hence the environment also you should not waste the food and also take the measures that are important to avoid the wastage of food thank you